What's up everybody? This is Eddie and I am coming at you live from our beautiful facility here at Flex Arm in Walpock, Ohio via YouTube live stream. We got some individuals on Facebook joining us as well. We have an exciting demo for all you deco tool and supply individuals as well as your customers. We appreciate each and every one of you joining us and to make sure that we can absolutely maximize your experience, you'll notice on the side of your screen there's a chat box and a comment section. We truly, truly appreciate any questions or comments that you may have so that myself and my help can answer your questions in real time. And if you're lucky, we'll even pull up your questions in live and be able to get those answered. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be utilizing one of our hydraulic as well as our pneumatic tapping arms. We're gonna be doing some vertical tapping and some horizontal tapping as well. It's gonna be awesome. So what we're gonna do to get things started, I have my good help here, Logan. He's loaded up by our GHM45. Logan, tell us a little bit about what's going on and what we're getting ready to do, man. Yeah, so this is our GHM45 hydraulic tapping arm has a capacity in mild steel of an inch and a half which is actually what we're going to be tapping here for you today um, this this model takes a 480 volt power supply um, and has a two-speed gearbox here as well um, so the smaller sizes you can you can tap faster as well as wrap it out increasing those those uh, tapping cycle times uh, it also comes with a um, flex hose uh, and lubrication system which the arm itself has a fill plug here. You can fill the arm up with lubricant. Um, for the purpose of this demo, we're just gonna use a, uh, a lubricant paste uh, just for the purpose of the demo. But I'll show you really quick here, tapping inch and a half in mild steel. All of our tap holders have the quick change chuck on it and a built-in clutch so the tap will ratchet out before you have to be concerned about any tap breakage, um, whether that's hitting the bottom of blind hole or uh, chips binding up in the hole. So I'll get this started here. Yeah. And while he dials everything in, those who are joining on YouTube as well as Facebook, let us know where you're coming. Give a comment of where in the world you're joining us from. So like Eddie said, this is gonna be uh, just vertical and then we'll show you horizontal here in a minute. <laughs> And as you can hear, that is that tap holder clutching out. Uh, so you don't have to worry about the, a blind hole. You can just rip it all the way through, hit the bottom. It'll clutch out. No worrying about tap breakage or scrapping any parts. And there you have it, as simple as that. And I'll show you the quick change here as well. To go from an inch and a half down to a three eighths in no time, right? And then what I can also do is turn this to our second gear to speed it up. It doesn't require as much torque to tap 3 eighths as it does an inch and a half, so you can put it in the second gear. And what we can do is now we can increase the RPM. This is 265 RPM, while at an inch and a half we're running at 50. No, that's solid. So anybody have any general questions, make sure you put those in the comment section when we we'll pull those up. Uh, Logan, you ready to move over to our A32? Absolutely. Let's check it out, man. So as Eddie said, this is our smallest tapping arm we offer. This is the A32 uh, pneumatic tapping arm. It has a capacity of 9 16 and mild steel. And this particular motor is a 400 RPM motor. We have faster options available as well. Uh, the capacity just goes down a little bit. Um, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna tap some quarter inch through holes. Can I have this wrench? You see a quarter inch through, there we go. Now, are we going to be doing anything else besides just this. tapping these specific holes? Yeah, I'll also be showing you um, blind holes as well, and we'll show you horizontal on this too. Um, but just like that larger arm, uh, these have the quick change chucks, and I'll also show you that the flex arm isn't only for tapping. You can put a nice chamfer on the holes with this. Well, I guess we need some uh, air here. Right, Eddie. Have, there we go. Yeah, step one. There we go. Perfect. There we go. 
There we go. All right. Uh, so you can put a nice chamfer on the hole. Quick and easy. Change the holder out. Quarter inch spiral point tap. Get some lubricant on it. We also offer lubrication options for our pneumatic tapping arms. This one is not kitted up with that option, but it acts just like the other ones. Again, clutches out when it reaches the bottom. And to reverse it, there's a button on the top. And then you, you hold the air lever in at the same time. And it reverses out. So like I said, the tapping arm isn't only for uh, tapping holes. We can also do external threading. We have die holders available. And you can do reaming as well as some countersinking. Mm -hmm. uh, really, the, the tapping arm, uh, again, is designed for like tapping and threading. Um, you know, in addition to reaming, it can do some very light drilling applications in mm -hmm. plastic or very thin gauge aluminum as well. Yeah. And one thing to know is we have this bad boy right here. So in the comment section, if we can get a little bit of camera on this, if you know what this bad boy is right here, I want you to leave a comment because there are some individuals who to this day are still using and doing their tapping operations by hand with this here. And if we got, I think we may have a little bit of B-roll here of one of our good customers doing a side-by-side -side video of someone hand tapping right next to one of their hydraulic units. Check it out. Thanks again to our good friends here at Lindsay Machine. Look at that. Got one guy just dreadfully hand tapping while the other individual using one of his hydraulic tapping units just absolutely ripping through with ease while the guy using the tapping handle just absolutely jealous. And, and two, obviously the, the appeal of a tapping arm um, when going from manually straight to a tapping arm, the, the, the selling point is there. You can see the time saving. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, you know, applications such as um, production runs in a CNC, you can decrease the cycle time by tapping offline. Pull that part out of your machine and tap it offline while it's milling and drilling. Reduce the, the work that your machine has to do um, and increase the cycle time. Uh, you know, in addition to that, uh, if you're cutting out holes on a plasma or a laser, um, obviously, um, you know, you can tap with that. Whether you're outsourcing currently, tapping by hand, putting it in a machine afterwards to, to tap, um, obviously dramatically um, improved by using a tapping arm and it eliminates unnecessary refixturing. So the idea is the head of the tapper moves over the hole of the part, the hole in the part versus having to refixture the part under the head of, of say a drill press um, and whatnot. There you go. Well, hey, let's solve. Well, now that we've got a little bit of demonstration on what this can do, let's head back over to the 45. We are going horizontal. Let's check it out. So Logan, what's going on here? It seems like a completely different situation. Yeah, absolutely. So as you can see, this is now in the horizontal position. Like we said, it has a multi-position head. Um, so all we did was break loose a couple of these bolts, reorient it, and line this up to the part that we are tapping using a our precision ground magnetic alignment plug. The material doesn't have to be ferrous, but it, it gives you a, a point of reference to line this up to. So just like before, we're gonna be tapping an inch and a half mild steel, but this time it's horizontal. Get it back to gear one there. Line her up. Clutches out. And we reverse it out. And, and as you can see, it's very easy to tap this hole. It takes virtually a finger. There's no need to push or pull as it's tapping. The, the tap itself pulls it in and out. Um, so, so there's really no force required from the operator. This gives the opportunity for somebody that's a lot greener in the shop, or maybe doesn't have a lot of additional experience, to give them the capability of tapping these holes um, and not having to worry about that tap breakage or cross threading or um, you know, tapping in, not vertically. Um, you know, this ensures that you get the perfect 
tab toll every single time. Reducing broken tools, time needed to rework parts, um, money lost scrapping parts, mm -hmm. um, the labor lost when needing to do that rework. Um, you know, it, it really can pay itself off really quickly mm -hmm. if you think about it that way. Yeah, no, that's solid. And Logan, if you don't mind, we'll do a quick just switch over in the horizontal to the three eighths, not tapping anything. And then Isaac, while he does that, do you mind see if we have any general questions? We'd love to get get a thing or two answered while we're here. No worries, no worries, man. Absolutely, absolutely, man. We can lock that in for you. Yeah, hold it for me. Yeah, absolutely. Right on, right on. Good deal. And again, it's a quick changeover. Put this in gear two. Fire her up. And again, as you can see, tapping in versus reversing out, it can wrap it out. So say you're tapping in 100 RPM. You could wrap it back out of that hole because the torque is not needed at 250, 350 RPM. Mm -hmm. So I guess, Logan, I know we have a wide variety of arms, but on a 45, what's one of the coolest applications that you think that you've seen using one of these arms? Yeah, so, um, you know, over time, yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, and I think some of the cooler applications are, um, you know, being able to have a cart or a table that has casters on the bottom. Uh, you know, I, I've talked with individuals who are using an arm like this. I mean, as you can see here, we have uh, our open bed vertical machining center um, and they want to be able to uh, tap with a tapping arm instead of using their machine um, bogging down the cycle times. So what they do is they bring this cart up to the bed of their machine and tap it mm -hmm. offline with the tapping arm while the machine's over here running other parts. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I, I really like those kind of applications where um, they don't have to worry about a bunch of additional material handling. It's already fixtured. Why not tap it while it's there? No, solid point, solid point. And hey, we're not done tapping just yet. Let's move on over back to the A32 and we'll do a little bit of horizontal tapping on that as well. Perfect. So yeah, here we are back here again, the A32. We're going to tap horizontally this time. And the difference between uh, this setup and the setup with our GH45 that you saw, the GHM45, is these pneumatic tapping arms, these smaller ones, they have a horizontal adapter. So whereas the GH40, GHM45, you can tap horizontally, vertically, and, and really anywhere in between. With this, it is vertically or horizontally, but it still ensures that you get perfect, per perpendicular within two thou every single time. So we'll give you a quick demo here. Again, quarter 20 tap through hole. I guess I probably should have done that now that we're horizontal. Tap this, dip this in the, the lubricant here. And away we go. And there she is. And, and you can imagine a part like this, you know, maybe this one's a little rare with all of these holes, but a part with 10, 15 holes, uh, this can save you so much time uh, in, in refixturing time alone by being able to manipulate this uh, over the hole instead of having to move the part itself. No, that's solid. So we've been able to really showcase not only vertical, but as well as horizontal and a variety of sizes. We've gone an inch and a half, we've done three eighths, we've done quarter inch. So with that, also talking about a lot of applications, I'd like to potentially speak about, I know you wanted to say a couple of things about some laser and plasma cutting, and we have some uh, demos over there, at least uh, yeah. plates you may want to show. So we're actually going to be doing a demo uh, here in the near future, uh, tapping these uh, plasma cut holes. Um, and I, I know a lot of times the concern on these plasma cut holes is the material gets a little hard, plasma, laser, the material hardens on, around the hole. Um, and a lot of times the concern is, well, there's gonna be more torque because the material is harder, you have to cut it. Uh, and, that's, and that's right, but the tapping arm, the flex arm can absolutely uh, tap these holes with no problems, even if they're a little bit irregular, it's still not a problem. Um, but, but the idea again being uh, a lot of times parts like this are cut out and there's not a great solution to tap these without having to refixture a part like this many times or, um, or doing it by hand. So um, 
in addition to that, you know, th this part specifically, you know, in, in the paint marker here says M30. We have tapping arms that go from zero all the way up to two inches. So depending on what your application looks like, what the needs of the shop is, uh, we have a tapping arm for you. And, and our largest tapping arm can put out 811 foot pounds of torque. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really a beast. And um, we, we've done a lot of tests for people. So if, you know, if you're interested in, in seeing this on your part, uh, being able to visualize how it can help you, let us know. We will happily do a demo for you just like this, sure. send you the video, um, and, and are happy to talk more as well. Oh, that's solid, man. So, Isaac, do we have any general questions, uh, whether it's via Facebook or via YouTube? Well, no, that's awesome. If you do have any other questions, there are multiple ways to reach out to Logan and myself. You can check out our YouTube page. You can check out our Facebook, Insta, all the socials, or visit us at flexmachinetools.com. So for everybody at Deco Tool Supply and all your customers, we thank you so much for joining us. And if you are end users and you do have questions, please find your local Deco Tool and Supply Rep. They're wonderful individuals to work with, and we work with them extensively and be happy to help you. So if no other questions arise, Logan, is there anything else that anyone needs to know about these two beautiful tapping arms? No, I think we covered these ones pretty well. Um, but as Eddie mentioned, go visit our website. We've got other product lines as well for material handling, uh, ergonomics and assembly solutions, as well as you can learn a little more about our uh, Flex CNC as well. So that's all I've got, Eddie. Uh, take it away. No, that sounds good. We thank you all so much for joining us. This is Eddie and Logan. It's been a great time. Again, thank you all. Make sure to keep updated on all the fun things that are happening. Check out our YouTube page. Subscribe. Give us a huge thumbs up and turn on those notifications so you can be in the loop. And then also this Friday, if you have anything due tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be joined by Danny Nichols, the VP of Sales of OSG USA. We're going to be doing an MPT tapping demo. We're going to get gnarly going up to taps of probably upwards of two inches. We'll see. But nonetheless, it's going to be an amazing time. Thank you all for joining us, and we will see you next time.